You know, she's grown up a lot. She's grown up a whole lot. I'm proud of her. Please don't let me cry. <laughs> I like to pick her up in her walker and run her, run her around like a spaceship, you know, and stuff, and make all the noises and everything else. And she just smiles so big and laughs and giggles now. It wasn't long while she was pregnant, I could see her changing over and over, you know, getting more to that motherly state, you know, to where she was willing to give up a lot of other stuff to take care of her and the baby. You always have worries because you always see things going one way, but then subject to change without notice, you know. <laughs> you just, sometimes you just got to take a step back and think, you know, about the whole situation and everything else that may come out of it. There's no way in hell that I was going to get rid of my daughter and tell her I don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, I was angry and upset about it, but there was no way in hell that I'm not going to be here for her. As long as I'm alive, doesn't matter. I'm gonna be here one way or another, so. I mean, honestly, like I really, really like being a mom. I like my life now. I've changed for the better. Not necessarily like a completely different person, but I feel like I have changed into a completely different me. There are things that I do miss, like I miss my sleep. I miss like just not worrying all the time, but I'm happy where I am right now. I'm like, I wouldn't change it for anything. Now I have my own family. Whether me and Christian are together or not, I have my own family. I have my daughter. I have somebody that can help me through the hard times. The happiest I ever have been is now. Even though things have been hard at times and stuff, this is the happiest I've ever been. And I'm not gonna let anybody tear that down. Pretty much me and Christian are working things out now. He's living back here with me and the baby. So far, things are going pretty good. We still kind of like argue basically every day, but it's literally over just stupid BS, honestly. Like nothing worth arguing over, just little stuff. I just think it's gonna take a little bit to like build up trust. He's definitely helping out a lot more than he did. We're starting to do 50-50 a lot more. So I feel like he's kind of understanding and I'm kind of understanding where he's coming from and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I think it's going pretty good and I think we can kind of work things out. If I could choose one word to describe Camille, it would just be that she's perfect. Yeah, she fusses quite a bit, but she is the best baby that I've ever met. She is so smart. I feel like she's kind of advanced in a lot of things. And even her doctor has said the same thing, that she is a lot more advanced than most six months old that she sees. I feel like I have the most perfect baby. She's starting to look a lot more like Christian, but if you look at older pictures of me, we look just alike. Like that is my twin right there. I don't know, most of my pregnancy was before COVID and then the hospitals didn't shut down until the day after Camille was born. It was really, really weird being in labor and having the baby. The doctors were literally talking about COVID-19 while I was pushing. The crew was down filming. Once we drove back home from the hospital, they like got a call and they had to leave then. And that's the last time that I saw them. And that was in March. I can't change what other people think. I can't make them like me if they don't. I can't make them think that I'm a good mom if they don't think that, I, you know, like I can't change their mentality on anything. So I'm not even gonna waste my time to try. I'm clearly just here sharing my story. So maybe I can help somebody, whether they're in my shoes, my dad's shoes, the people that's helping us, Christian's shoes, you know, like I'm here just to try to share my story and help somebody out. I did talk to my mom not that long ago, but it was kind of shut down. Like I just, I was like, I don't really want to talk to you. She was calling me bad names and stuff like that. So I just kind of shut it down and I was like, don't, don't talk to me no more. You know, like I'm not going to let you sit there and hurt my daughter like you hurt me. She does not deserve that. You know, she did not come into this world to deserve that. You know, so I'm going to make sure that she's only surrounded by love and support. 
I don't know, I feel like me and my dad's bond now is so much better. You know, like, I've always been a daddy's girl and we've always been really close, but now, like, I can be 150% honest with him and he will always be right there. He's not gonna sit there and bash me, but he is gonna tell me, you shouldn't do that. That was stupid. He absolutely adores Camille and Camille absolutely adores him. He's always done the best that he can do for me. And he has always done everything in thought of me. You know, so I know he's not gonna do any less with her. Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy! Your mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!